Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video guys. As you can see on my screen, today we are going to talk about the Llama 3.2 model which is the first ever vision model that has been released by Meta. This has been making waves all over the internet guys and in this video we are not going to learn about this model but we are also going to try this model out. So without taking any time further, let's get started. So first thing first guys, what is Llama 3.2 model? So this is basically guys the next version of the Llama 3.1 models. As you guys already know that Meta launched a text uh, prompt model which was Llama 3.1. But because it was trained on 405 billion parameter and for such a huge size, it became a revolutionary um, thing because uh, it was really good in answering a lot of questions and then it was really good in all the metrics as well. Same goes with Llama 3.2 also guys, uh, here also they have released this model with a size of 90 billion parameters. But the good thing about the 3.2 model is that they have launched this with full size and lightweight size or I would say medium size and lightweight size. So 90 billion is like the medium size and then 11 billion parameters is a lightweight version of this vision model. The same thing uh, goes with the text only version of Llama 3.2. So if you see on my screen, they have also launched 3 billion and 1 billion parameter models which are only for text only uh, version of Llama 3.2. But the good thing is that you can use these uh, models on your mobile devices as well because they are lightweight and they are, you know, easy to use. So definitely this, this is a huge advancement guys and if you go to uh, the meta documentation page you will see that they have written a lot about this model but even in a nutshell I would just sum it up. Uh, this model is basically uh, an advancement because earlier they were only using text prompts and this model can take image as a prompt and provide you a answer. It is having a context length of around 128k tokens. But also the thing is that this is an open source model. Because we have seen image being processed with models like Gemini. We have seen that with chat GPT uh, provision models as well. But this is the first open source model. And they have also said that they are going to make this model available to download through Llama.com and HuggingFace.com. But for some of us who don't have enough, you know, uh, finer machines to actually download this model and use this model, they have also that said that they are going to make this model available through platforms like Grok, where we can use their API AI inference to actually use it. So if you read about that here, they basically had uh, going to make it download through these portals and also through uh, Grok, etc. as well. So this is definitely a huge thing guys. So I think we should now go to uh, a place where we can test out Llama 3.2. But unfortunately they are still making it available. So this was just an announcement. But if you want to try this out guys, if you want to try the, this model, there is a place that you can actually do that. And that place is called as napkins.dev. So yes guys, this is a website that has been developed by together.ai. And if you guys have seen my previous video, which was on Llama Coder, that was also an application made by Together.ai, where the only difference was that they were using a text prompt to create an application, a fully fleshed working application. But here they are using a screenshot or a photo or an image to create an application. The difference also is that there they were using Llama 3.1 model, but here they are using Llama 3.2 model. And you can even choose between 11 billion vision model or 90 billion vision model. Okay. So now that we know about this website and now that we know a little bit about Llama 3.2 as well, it is time to try this out. So what I'm going to do guys, I went to basically google.com and you can see this uh, screen here, right? I have basically taken a screenshot of this same image and this is the screenshot right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to napkins.dev and basically upload this screenshot. Okay, so I click on upload a screenshot and it is going to basically open a okay, for me and I'm, I'm gonna just click on open and that is my screenshot. Okay, 
now i can select any ai model but let's just be uh, okay with the 90 billion vision model because i'm thinking that that might give me a better code than the 11 billion one now it takes definitely some time to analyze the image but it starts to write code pretty quickly and that you can see the thing about together.ai is that uh, just like llama coder application here also they deploy the same code in a sandbox which you can see on me on my screen right now that that it is uh, deploying the code on a sandbox and it is spinning it up and there you go guys you can see that it it is deployed and it looks something like this now in my opinion guys i think it looks very very good as per i would say ai standards it was able to get the colors of the google although it made it like buttons and i wanted those colors to be reflected in a text so that it is, uh, is a bit off but it does give me i am feeling lucky button and it does give me the google offered in Fran france as well it doesn't give me the uh, yeah the search box here but which is fine because i can just hit enter and i can still search so there are some things off about this screenshot but most of the things if you think about comparing it with the screenshot it does make it correct okay now here's the thing guys let's also now try to generate the same thing with the 11 billion vision model and let's compare what are the differences so now if i click on generate app you can see that it again starts to analyze the image and now it is again going to start writing the code for me and here i am assuming that the code might not be you know as efficient as it was a previous one and uh, let's see let's see how it actually works and it is spinning up the sandbox and you can see that the 11 billion vision model actually gave me a much better response because it actually made the text colorful it gave me a google search everything is on place the mic button i'm feeling lucky button is on place so what you can also do guys you can click on the open sandbox here and it is going to open this in a uh, coding ide editor sort of thing and there you will get all the files which were produced to make this application and if you want to edit any of those files you are easily able to do so uh, let's see how it works and you can see that now it has loaded all the components so this is basically a react application guys and uh, you can see that it has loaded all the components and it is also going to start running the previews but now you guys must be having a question how can i actually use the llama 3.2 vision model on my local machine right because you don't want to do it here right you don't want to use any other application so there is a way to do that as well although you can use this uh, sandbox editor and you can you know do something like preview or something to actually make it working but i think you need some sort of sign in and some sort of subscription with that so i'm not going to use that what i would suggest you to do is actually download this whole napkins or dev github repository on your local machine and just create the same application on your local let's see how we can do that so first of all guys you need to go to the github link of the napkins.dev and this github link looks something like this and here are the clear instructions on how you can set it up on your local machine although i haven't set it up on my machine but i will go through this with you guys so first thing first guys you need to clone this repository so if you are on the ui you can have this code button here and this is basically the command to clone it so you just do git clone and do you copy this entire thing or you can use the http version as well so this is the cloning url once you have cloned the repository guys the next thing is that you create a dot env file in the root folder and then you just add your together api key to it now you can ask this question and how do i i get the together ai api key so if you just click over this link here guys it is going to open uh, api.together.xyz.com and if you go to your profile and if you go to settings it will actually show you an option to download your api key or get your api key now here you can see that i have already logged in 
into this i am already like logged in but if you are not logged in you will get an option to sign in and you can sign it through google linkedin or your github accounts once you have your api key you can put it uh, like this in your end file and then you need to also have an s3 bucket so that's the catch here guys now you might be thinking how this application is actually working. So if you go to napkins.dev again, what happens is that when you upload this screenshot here, this screenshot gets uploaded to an S3 bucket. And from that S3 bucket, together.ai fetches the screenshot, creates a code and sends it to you, puts it in a sandbox and show it to you on your UI as well. Here is how it works. So for storing the image, you need an S3 bucket. So if you have an AWS account, you can just get the details of your S3 bucket from there. And those details also you have to put in your dot and file. Again, if you click on this guide here, it is going to show you exactly what description you need to add. So first thing first, you need to have this NPM install next S3 upload. But once you have that and you have your S3 bucket credentials with you, you just need to uh, take all these four values, put it into the same end file, environment file, where you had the together API key and just write the correct details next to it. And there you go. You just save the environment file and then all the values are there. And the next thing you do is just simply build the application and run it. So for building, just do npm install and then for running, just do npm run dev. And it's going to install the dependency and then it is going to just run it locally. Once you have this application run locally, guys, then you basically can think that you have the Llama 3.2 model actually running on your machine. One thing I would just like to tell you guys that this is not a fully free version of what you are running on your machine in this case. Because you are using an API key for together.ai and together.ai has a billing subscription. So you only get $5 free of credit there. If you have exhausted that, you have to upgrade your plan to actually get the uh, same benefit again. Okay. So I must point it out that this is not the free version of napkins or dev if you are running it on your local. But I'm sure in future, there is going to be a free way to use it. Just like we have got uh, with Grog, just like we have got with Samba Nova, the uh, Llama 3.1. We will have the same thing for 3.2 Llama as well. Or at least I hope so. So that was the video, guys. That is what I wanted to show you about Llama 3.2. How you can experiment with this. How both the 11 billion, 90 billion parameter model work and how you can create your own cool applications and use it as a co-pilot. So I hope you guys like this video, guys. If you do like this video, then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. If you want to support me, guys, then please hit uh, some amount on the super thanks. And if you want to join my channel, the join button is also right there on the channel, guys. And in the end, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback for me, please do write down in the comment section below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming, coding and AI related videos. I will see you guys in the next video, guys. Until then, take care and bye-bye.